If you haven't already heard, Android 17 and 18 will be the next Dokkan Fest for Global Dokkan. But for this video specifically, I wanted to talk about how many free-to-play Dragonstones will their celebration end up giving a Global Dokkan. So in this video, I'm going to show you every single event that JP got that Global should be getting and how many Dragonstones uh, we will be receiving in total. I do have my uh, big brain calculator up here. We will be adding up as we go along. Let's hop into this video. I also want to say really quickly for today's subscriber challenge, if you consider Android 18 uh, to be the best waifu in Dragon Ball, I understand you know your logic but you have to subscribe to the channel right now you got caught simping for an android it is what it is now if it isn't your favorite waifu or if she isn't your favorite waifu then uh, i can respect that you can skip the subscriber challenge today uh, let's hop straight into this video so um the android celebration on jp was kind of split into two different parts um but it doesn't really mention part one and part two because part one was a little bit before christmas and then part two ended up being the whole christmas celebration side of things so it basically kind of as its own thing but it's still technically part two. So let's just focus on part one for now. First things first, we do have a login bonus of 16 Dragonstones. Um, again, this could change to 15 for global. It could be 17. It could be 20 for global. But I'm going to go based off of what JP has. Again, things may not be exact exact, but having a rough estimate is definitely better than nothing. So we have 16 Dragonstones so far. Easy, easy. Then we have seven extra stones for daily. Uh, sorry, was it uh, special missions right there? So uh, 16 plus 7 gives us 23 dragon stones so far. Easy. Then we have the Dokkan Festival. And remember that every Dokkan Festival has its own Dokkan event. So I, the Dokkan event has two different difficulties. Each one gives you a stone per clear. So just, you know, additional two stones right there. There we go. 25 dragon stones. Easy. That's half a multi. All right. For literally doing nothing. Anyways, let's continue moving on here. Now, when it comes to Super Battle Road... They're going to change the way they actually release these stages. Instead of dropping all 10 stages at once, they're going to drop one stage at a time. Um, I think they actually, I think like if you look into uh, like the Global Dokkan news, it actually mentions how they're going to move forward with Extreme Super Battle Road. So I believe the first stage that will that they'll actually end up adding is the Planet Nemec Saga. I could be wrong about that. But regardless, every single ESBR stage you clear, you get one stone plus the five from missions so that's six stones in total for that one stage so uh plus six equals 31 dragon stones so far and then we have ultimate clash now ultimate clash in terms of missions gives 12 uh plus five is 17 plus three is 20 plus one is 21 dragon stones if you're able to complete all of these missions so 31 plus 21 equals 50 wait it was 21 right am i did i mess count wait 12 17 okay yeah 21 dragon stones easy uh jp also got this extreme challenge campaign for lr androids um so this campaign gave us how many dragon stones let me see in terms of missions oh these are just the medals okay uh okay so we got five for okay so if you perform all three steps of the extremes you awaken you get 15 dragon stones in total which is of course very very good so 15 to our total here is going to be 67 dragon stones in total uh, this EZA is reopening. I believe you're going to be, you're going to be able to EZA um, the Hellfighter 17 and, and the AGL Android 17. I don't think that you get stones from that. I could be wrong, but if you do, then it's just more stones. I won't add it to this video, though. And then uh, JP was preparing for a world tournament, which I do not believe Global will be receiving. So we might get some extra stuff. It just I, We don't know what Global is going to receive just yet. Maybe a Global first EZA. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, so... And let's go to basically part two now of JP Celebration. Again, they had World Tournament. So if I actually scroll down here really quickly and show you guys this, you will see that they had this World Tournament. Again, I do not believe that Global will receive another World Tournament this quick. So they might delay this. I do not know what they'd put, you know, f you know, to... Would they really fill up this slot? I don't really know. I'd rather have nothing than this, to be honest. So we'll see what they end up doing. But let's scroll back up here. We have a lot of stuff to cover here. So... Uh, we have login bonuses. I don't know about the specific stones there, so it is what it is. And then we have some missions here for part two, which again we should sh we I would say we should still be getting this. Um, the thing is, this is basically tied towards. Oh yeah, this is tied towards Christmas. So I could and uh, I'm gonna add it anyways. I just think that Global will probably rename this to something else. Um, but. I'm gonna count these five stones regardless and I guess we can count it as a login bonus as well So let me just count in the five dragon stones right there. 
that is 72 dragon stones so far for the celebration <clears throat> and then we have uh again yeah, the rising carnival banner another double rate banner no way dude global has received double rates banner um lr goku and hit then uh margarita and um are they gonna are they really going to make this another double rate banner for global i don't know i guess i guess they, they probably won't to be honest again we'll see um then we have winter campaign exchange again we probably won't have this to be honest um i doubt we'll get any of this stuff but again we'll have to see and then we get some exciting easy yay so first easy i want to talk about is this one right here for future gohan future gohan's easy is weak to android I'll do, look i'll do a whole video breaking this down but uh again this is a traditional easy so 30 dragon stones to be able to be obtained from this easy a plus four for missions so if you can complete all the missions plus the whole easy a that is 34 dragon stones to your box so if we add 34 right there we're looking at 106 dragon stones so far then we have the dragon ball fusions easy a um, which is basically it just for four specific units and again, this is another traditional EZA that is weak to crossover. So again, completing all of this, you do obtain 30 Dragon Stones in total. And then again, we have missions here. So it says the following missions can be completed four times, once for each character. So we can get one stone four times. That's again, another 34 Dragon Stones. So add 34. And then boom, we're at 140 Dragon Stones so far. Free to play stones. Listen, like that's to me that's almost three multis i'm already down with that like and we also have more content coming as well but again it's like uh this is the time where everyone should start saving up as many stones as possible guys this is the time to save 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 then we have the special event renewal actually i never completed the original like og fusions event so if you if you haven't either this could be what one two three four stones for you so yeah go ahead and complete this if you can that's gonna be four stones for me so uh we got 144 stones right there and then we have reopening uh okay the, the dokkan event there reopening of the extremes the area um which again i could give you stones there if i don't include this type of stuff it's we're gonna get more stones if i don't include this that's okay because again we're just gonna get more stones than what i display here i just again like since it doesn't tell me like the, the actual missions and stuff i'm just not gonna include it because i don't want to speculate in this video then we have another new stage for esbr so that'll be the second stage. This is definitely a separate stage from the first one we got in part one or that we should be getting in part one. So again, another five stones for the mission to complete it plus the actual stone to complete. So we're at six dragon stones in total for a total of 150 dragon stones. Very, very nice. And then we have infinite dragon ball history. So infinite dragon ball history. The thing about this event actually is that, okay, a level 17 and level 18 are the only ones that JP uh, or Global does not have just yet. I don't know which one uh, Global at, or JP received. I, I don't even know. But I do know that the missions are exactly the same in terms of the amount of stones we get. So it doesn't matter which one I actually count, right? So this is uh, one, two stones, uh, four stones, six stones, nine stones, 12 stones, 16, 20 dragon stones, then 22, 24, 26, 27 plus the one stone for clearing it. So we're basically at 28 dragon stones from infinite dragon ball history. We add 28 to that. Boom. Looking at 178 dragon stones for the celebration. Um, and then last but not least, I mean, again, this stuff may, may end up getting replaced. So forget about world tournament for now. Uh, but we do have the 10th Peton battle. Let me actually forgot to open this up. Now Peton battle actually does give you rewards. So if I go to missions, if you can complete all these missions, you get 10 dragon stones plus defeating the first enemy of any set. That's going to give you 11 dragon stones in total. So plus 11, we're looking at 189 dragon stones. Very, very nice. Last but not least, we have ultimate, sorry, explosive chain battle. So for missions, you can get 5, 9, 12, 14, 17, 19, and 20 dragon stones from completing this so plus 20 209 dragon stones from this whole celebration that is free to play i'm dropping this video that way you guys can start preparing if you need to you know farm up uh your let's see your android team to beat this easy a get it done right now okay if you need to farm up your crossover team to beat this easy a get it done right now okay i'm showing you all the dragon stones you can obtain it's up to you to actually 
work on your box to make sure you can actually complete all this type of stuff um so go ahead and actually earn these rewards so 209 dragon stones in total um this is again not you know counting world tournament because i just don't think they're gonna have another world tournament um so let me know what you guys think what else could we possibly receive i mean global did get that one time the grade a global first easy a's that still have not released on jp by the way G massive jp shop i'm talking about the physical goku agl vegeta and str raditz right so maybe we could get more global first easy a's i don't know how that's gonna work but again let me know what you guys think if you guys did enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe if you are new. I'm excited for over 200 Dragon Stones for the celebration, and I will see you in the next one. Take care and peace.